hello friends welcome to our youtube channel uh, in this video we're gonna discuss about the new feature that uh, we have in civil 3d 2026 okay so that feature that uh, is really exciting for us as a designer so that it's a uh, you know the display you can have a good preview of your model radially available for you however you still have the feature to view the object viewer apart from that you have a feature that whenever you select the element as i have selected this element and let's select the whole road also and then right click and here you see add to model viewer okay so i will just click on this add to model viewer and now you have a separate window open and that will give you a somewhat rendered view of your model okay and the best thing about this uh, particular is like with this particular window open you can still edit perform edits on your model and that will be reflected on the model viewer as well like for example let's keep it zoomed here and then then i edit it perform the edit so let's do the control z and it reverts back to where it was okay it's there okay you see how this one particular changed okay and uh, um, apart from that right now the ground is also visible everything we have selected is visible right now okay so we can even filter that so how we can do and uh how we're gonna do that is from the settings so go to setting and here you can see what you can view okay you can show corridor feature lines so sections also and other things so this is the sec uh, settings okay and auto update you can turn off and turn on the auto update and also you can select to show or hide the render surfaces okay and uh, furthermore you could also hide the feature line option so we're just being closed and apart from that you can choose your style okay it should be conceptual right now it's the shaded shaded with edges frame wire hidden that you are all i believe you are familiar with these visual style options okay so we can just close it and then uh here further we have further more options let me uh to zoom it a little bit on a particular reason and then show you okay so it's like this right now uh let's change the style to conceptual okay conceptual or set it with edges if you can line no better is conceptual okay so let's change this to conceptual and then here at the bottom you have option for objects so what object to show on this if you want to hide the surface you can hide the surface so all of the surfaces the surface that you have on the road the surface the top surface and the bottom surface and the other surfaces all will be hidden okay and uh, you can turn it on to show this so let's turn it off so it's hidden now what you can do is further you can you can choose other like individual assemblies to show or hide so let's say you have forgot to add this surface so let's close our viewer option and then uh, let's just select the road uh, our corridor and just right click and go to the add to model viewer okay so right now we only have the corridor here okay you just have the corridor okay so how that add functions works let me show you now so go to the object we just get it with the whole screen and now we go to the objects and then here we can add object so add object and then i want to i want to add this particular surface that is selected and hit enter okay and the surface is added okay so this is how you can add other uh, things as well okay and there's only one alignment that we have here and that alignment has these uh, assemblies so you can turn it on and turn it off all those assemblies also you can uh let's turn on the surface and if you want to save this particular image the rendered image you can save it as well okay so just you can save it and save wherever you want it 
and it will be you can save it as png jpeg or other bmp the ti of these file options that you have down there further you can set the view also okay so if you go here and then click on it right now it's this particular view so set you can set if you want to set a view as current home view like i want to set this as home view okay so then i just have to right click on this and set this as home view okay so even if i am somewhere right here and i want to go back to that particular view i just have to click here and i will be right at that point i'll be viewing all these objects at this particular location okay so that's all we have for this video guys hope you guys learned something new like share subscribe to our channel and have a great time guys.